What's up American Ninja Warrior? I'm Jason Gupton. I'm 26 years old from Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, and this will be my third year competing at American Ninja Warrior. Third time's a charm, right? I'm a professional stuntman, and I probably can give most of that thanks to Ninja Warrior because if it wasn't for the first time of me going out there and meeting the people that I did, I would not be where I am today in my career. Pick me! If I hadn't gone out to LA that first time to stay with Team Tempest, then I would have never known anything about parkour, free running, actual Hollywood stunt work, and realizing that's what I want to do as a career, and then following that, and now I've got jobs on union sets and got my SAG card to where I can actually be a professional stuntman. So literally, I have American Ninja Warrior to thank for that. First time I went out to American Ninja Warrior, I really didn't know much about parkour or free running. I uh, just went out there just to kind of try it out. While running the course, I felt like I was doing pretty good. Um, got past the quad step, so that was an accomplishment for me, I guess. Uh, then fell on the jump hang and didn't think that was going to really bother me as much as it did but it really definitely messed me up mentally for the next year. I knew that I could make the jump and then I just didn't. So it's constant just jump training, jump training. Uh, went back, got to go to Miami uh, for the second year, hang out with the guys again, run the course. Obviously got past the quad steps. Everybody fears the quad steps. Uh, got to the bungee bridge. My knee actually popped out going across the bungee bridge and I knew that the jump hang was next. So I stopped, bent down, popped my knee back in place hit the tramp as hard as I could and made the net pretty high. After I made the cargo net, I was just so stoked that I did not hit the next main tramp hard enough for the rings and just barely missed it and hit the water, which sucked. But hey, I got up and still did the dance because I was Elvis last year, so it still gave the crowd what they wanted. Competing in Ninja Warrior for the past two years has definitely changed my life completely. I can't even walk around like general downtown anywhere without seeing something not just a normal set of stairs to me anymore but it's oh how can I jump from this to this land on this flip off of this that, that's all I see now and I have Ninja Warrior to blame for that I believe pick me definitely one of the top just monumental just like life moments I've ever had is when I was standing at last year's Ninja Warrior in Miami and I hear somebody cheering me on. I'm all nervous. And I hear someone cheering me on from the sidelines. I look over and it's Tim Sheaf, like, pumping me up, telling me I got this. And uh, that's probably the best motivation you could possibly get for a run is Tim cheering you on. So I have to thank, again, Ninja Warrior for making that happen because pff, without you guys, Tim Sheaf would never have been cheering me on. So even though Ninja Warrior has basically taken over my life, I still have a few regular hobbies I try to do day to day. Uh, I still love filming some independent stuff and filming commercial and web videos for local businesses here in town. Uh, I still do skateboarding, BMX, slacklining, unicycles, stilt walking, fire breathing, you know, normal stuff everyone does day to day. Also since last year's American Ninja Warrior, I started doing classes and got our local gym into doing open gym for parkour and free running, uh, which has really opened the community up to this whole sport that, like me, they knew nothing about. And it's, it's just blown up, it's done great, and it's, been, it's giving me something to be able to train at weekly to really push myself to be as best as I can be for Ninja Warrior. Pick me! Another big up I can say for Team Tempest, or Brian Orozco in particular, is he's gave me some secret tips to being a ninja. If you notice, this perfect stash that I now acquire is because of Roscoe. He gave me this. He gave me the tips on how to make this perfect. If there's one thing that ninjas have, it's a good mustache. This, this is a good mustache. I have a, uh, a wife and dog, you know, I cook for, I cook like a normal person, do normal cooking activities, no big deal. I mean, I basically wake up and get ready like, normal everyday people. Same routine, pretty simple, normal stuff.
mustache. This is my boy. He does parkour with me. We do parkour together, don't we? So being from a small country town in Rocky Mount, uh, you really have to make your own fun. So finding parkour and free running was perfect for this town. I'm in the gym basically five days a week. Mentally, physically, just preparing myself for whatever stunt gig may come up or knowing that once a year I'm going to get to compete on the American Ninja Warrior course and I want to be 100% for that. I know that I'm in the best shape, mentally and physically, to complete the American Ninja Warrior course this year and actually hit that buzzer. No swimming allowed. I'm not getting wet this year. I'm tired of getting wet. It's really cold. That water is freezing. I don't care if it's Miami or Venice. The water was cold. I don't want to go back in it. It's freezing. Can't mess up this mustache. I want to run that course, I want to hit the buzzer, hopefully within one of the fastest times, and move on. I am the next American Ninja Warrior! <sighs> Alright, so like I said before, third try is a charm. I got it this year, I'm hitting the buzzer. If you'll just give me my chance to go back out and just finally get this stupid falling monkey off my back. Like, why do I got to go every year and just fall? No, this year, I'm making it. Not with no silly costumes, no special gimmicks, just pure skill. I'm going to hit the buzzer. It's going to happen. Uh, so please, American Ninja Warrior casting people, choose me, Jason Gupton, to go back out and run this course one more time so I can hit that buzzer and do it right this time. All right, I think that's good.